Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I cook my food in my car. Before I get started, I just wanna say that this is only one way to cook in your car. It's not, probably not the best way. This is just my way of doing it. So I wanna go over a few other options that you can do that probably are better than mine, which is um, if you have like any outside source of electricity besides your car battery, I would say the best option for that is to buy a electric stove and you can just connect it to that battery but I don't have solar panels or an extra battery any of that so what would be the next good option I would say is like a camp stove that that is flat that um, is wide that it, you can connect your fuel and it's like a pipe to it um, none of that like freestanding fuel you know just like a nice stable um, camp stove that you can use Another one I've seen are like ovens that you connect into your car, like a 12 volt stove, and you just toss some food in there, close it, connect it, start cooking. That's a, like a really easy, really great way, um, really cheap way of cooking inside your car. But for me, a lot of my gear, a lot of stuff I use in my car has to do with camping and hiking. You know, like last video I showed you guys how I use my hammock top quilt as my like blanket inside my car during the winter, which is awesome. I'll get to exactly what they are in a second. So first thing we're gonna knock out is what are the absolute things that you should have when you cook in your car? First thing is a flat surface. You need a flat surface to cook on top of. Like have a table, like if you have a table built into your van, if you have a box in your car, uh, maybe your bed, if it's like removable mattress, etc., and you just have like the frame of your bed. Those are good options. For me, I am using my igloo that you've seen in the video. That I just, I just moved the bed out of the way and I cook on top of my igloo. Um, it works decently well. You'll see how like how it works dynamically. Whatever. You, you'll you'll see how it works. So next thing is something to actually heat up your food, cook your food. Like I mentioned, maybe that 12 volt oven. You plug in electric stove gas stove etc before you even get started cooking is to find you know where you're gonna knock out for tonight I guess good place to cook right so somewhere where you can set up put your reflectix on etc um, have that security that privacy that way it doesn't look weird you know people passing by and seeing you cooking in your car so you need your cooking stuff like your stove like something to cook your food in like a pan or a cup whatever you use is depending on what you eat since I love eating my steak I have a pan that I found at a thrift store for like two bucks and then obviously your ingredients and what you want to cook I would recommend something easy to cook something fast to cook now that I covered that get to how do I personally actually cook my food so like I said I cook on top of my igloo for my flat surface my fuel is a Coleman can whatever you can find these at Walmart my actual camping stove is a snow peak Camping stove, compact, ultralight, I love it. Something I would use when I go backpacking if I cooked on a backpacking trip, which I usually don't. Um, pretty pricey, but quality product. It was rated high on Amazon, I think. So I just bought it. So I don't know if y'all can see that. It's super small. Like I mentioned before, you should probably have something that's wide. I would not necessarily recommend this for anyone to use because I've had problems using this where I was cooking and I accidentally tipped my can pan bleh, bleh, tipped my pan over. I had to clean up like some of the oil that spilled and I lost the steak. It was a sad moment. Anyways, it's, it's pretty difficult to cook with this because you connect it to the fuel can, right? Boom, you connect it. Pretty simple, pretty fast, pretty easy, but this is all you've got to rest my pan on. This is my pan, $2 at their store. You put on there, like that's like super sketch, super unstable. I wouldn't recommend this honestly to the average van dweller, but because my lifestyle of like wanting to camp and hike more, which I haven't, hopefully I will and I hope that I can post more videos with content about that. But because I want to go hiking and camping, um, this is what I got but it's just not like the best option but yeah so boom look at that it just slipped I just dropped it if there's steak in there I'd have steak all up in my pants steak all up on my 
clothes. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how I do it. You know, I just turn on the can. I have my little lighter to get the fire going, right? I also have my camping cup. Plop that. That one's not so bad, obviously, because it's a smaller item. It, it, it's, it's fine. I have my camping spoon. This is all I have in terms of utensils. If I need to cut something, I have my multi-tool in my backpack that I just grab and I cut my stuff with. Um, usually when I'm cooking though, you'll see that I'll cook and I'll flip my steak over with my fingers. Let me recap. The fuel, gas can, my camping stove, which is an ultralight compact stove, my pan, my stainless cup, and my camping spoon, and my lighter. That's all I have for cooking. I also have this nice little Tupperware that I use to put my extra food, steak, whatever, in here to have food for lunch the next day. I found this at Walmart. I have never found this at any other Walmart, but it's a Snapware, and it's it's great. The reason why I got this is because it won't leak like some of that Pyrex stuff you can get at Walmart. Those things suck. Like, they, the lids hardly stay on. Uh, but this one you snap on, no liquids can get out and it is just small enough to fit inside one of my mesh pockets in my backpack so i love that that is awesome it's a convenient way to store it. my lunch instead of carrying like a lunch box i just stuff it in my backpack now it's time to get to the actual cooking of my food so let's get to it so here i'm gonna open up my igloo and grab my cooking stuff i'm gonna cook tonight boom what i use is great value extra virgin olive oil super cheap at walmart um, cheapest olive oil I can find and then I use this McCormick brown sugar bourbon seasoning for my steak this is all I use for cooking set up my stove BAM and we're gonna light this on fire boom crap there it goes off all right there's the fire is going pan heating up the pan all right now you saw that I was about to pour it without holding my pan. That is always the dumbest thing. It's always happened. Like my pan will always fall whenever I'm doing something and I'm not holding it. It's always smart for me to hold my pan, pour the oil in, extra virgin olive oil, good to go. Now I get my steak out. I can't see this part. Don't worry about it. Oh, you know what? Another thing. Here, you know what? I'm going to pull you up real quick. Turn on this light so you can see me better. Uh, I don't know if you can... You can see me so while oh shoot mm, 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 mm. so bright i'm gonna talk to you here golly it's so bright all right i think that's enough light all right so while i'm heating up my pan uh while i'm cooking i will usually open up my sunroof i have a sunroof but bam right there so i'm gonna open it right now help get the heat out get the uh smell out whatever all right so i opened up the sunroof and it's nice and cold tonight supposed to get 30 degrees tonight oh suck i hate the cold anyway so let's go back to the cooking so i've heated it up a lot i'm gonna pull this down a little bit it's a little too hot so i got me some steak pop those in there real quick put, them, uh, put that steak over there okay holding the pan i will oh shoot it's hot boom drop it let go good to go done and I'll grab it with my finger, flip, add the seasoning again. Yeah, just like cook, just sit here and watch it cook. That's literally it. I just pop it in there, season it, flip it, season it, boom. Let it sit, let it cook. I'm gonna cut to when it's like done. I also wanted to show you guys like how I'm oriented in my car while I'm cooking. So I just sit in my front seat, um, I lean it back and I move my passenger seat forward so that I can move my mattress and everything in the back, if you can see that, like right there. I folded it up, like I said. It kind of acts as a second table, and then I just have my cooking stove and whatnot on top of my igloo. I'll cut to when I'm done with my food. So this one's pretty much done. What I'm gonna do is, is first, when I'm cooking, I'll almost always cook for uh, lunch and dinner. Dinner for tonight and lunch for tomorrow. My first two steaks, because I get them in fours, um, I will put in my Tupperware. I'm gonna put my Tupperware down here, grab my pan, so you know I don't accidentally drop it again. Pick it up and whoosh, drop it. Bam. 
straight into that Tupperware. Put this Tupperware back up on the uh, bed. Grab another steak, put it back down. Oh, shoot, and then drop the steak again. Holding the pan, boom, season it. Flip it, this is not hot enough. Boom, season it. Increase that heat going. Bam, get that cooking going. Boom, steak number two coming up. All right, steak number two is done. Put the Tupperware down, pick it up. Boom, straight into the Tupperware. That is a lunch for tomorrow. Now that I'm done with that, grab the snap lid, pop it on there, nice and easy. Nice, nice. There we go, lunch for tomorrow. Now to work on dinner. Here we go. You know what, I'm gonna do differently to this time. I'm gonna put both the steaks in there. Cook them at the same time. Try to save some gas. Save some time too. I wanna go to sleep. Season. I don't know if you're seeing that. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys how I kinda of do it. There we go. So what I do is I just grab my fingers and flip. Boom. Season. Easy. And flip. Just grab my fingers and flip. Yes, I've burned my fingers before. It has happened. Worth it. Worth having steak. So now I'm done with the seasoning and olive oil. Stick that out of the way. Grab this trash and put it in plastic bag that I got it with. Um, and then I will, I'll just tie up the plastic bag that it's in. And I'll throw that away in the morning, eventually. Probably at work, wherever I go. Find a random trash can and just toss it. Gone, out of sight, out of mind. I love it. Love it. Look how good these steaks are. Like, there's two steaks. I got this for like, I got all four of those steaks for like three bucks. Three dollars. I don't know, you know, how cheap it is for y'all. You know, y'all can leave that in the comments. Let me know how cheap it is for y'all. I don't know. That's going to be hard to beat. Tell me where you can find three dollar steaks where y'all are at. So my steak is pretty much done now. Um, I'm going to show you guys kind of how I eat my steak. So it's done. I'll turn off the fire. Place it back, let it sit, kind of cool off a little bit. Since I don't have a fork, I kind of go barbarian. I know that sounds like, dude, what the hell? But I don't have a fork, and I'm too lazy to use a, like, a knife. Also, like, I don't have, like, I guess I could use my towel and place it down on here so I could put the hot pan on top of it. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try it out tonight because um, I'm all about new things. Hopefully... It doesn't burn my towel. Let's scoot this over. Remember, always grabbing the pan when I move it. Obviously probably hot. Can't tell. I'm gonna put it on my towel. Does it burn it? It's burning? I think we're good. All right, towel works. Something new, something new I learned. Place it down on there. If I had a knife and fork, I would eat it with a fork and knife, but I just don't have one right now. I mean, I'll get one eventually. Um, like one of those lightweight camping ones, but I don't really have one of those like camping store nearby and I can't get mail because I don't have a mailbox. So I'm kind of procrastinating on it. So once I get the chance to get me some, give me a fork, a camping knife too. Um, yeah, I'll eat with a fork and knife. But right now, all I used to eat is my little fingers. Literally just hold the pan to my face and, and uh, grab the steak once it's like cool enough to touch and just munch at it. Like, like that, literally just, that's all I do. Oh. That's literally it, that's how I eat dinner every night that I cook steak. Um, yeah, and look at that, look at that, mm. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you probably can't see it, but look at that, it's so red in there, so, so good, all that juice. I pretty much just sear it, honestly, when I cook steak. Oh, a hot. Nope. Burning my fingers. I burn my fingers every time. But it is so worth it. This is just so good. I love steak so much. And to get it so cheap and still be able to cook it in my car, it is so awesome. I love my steak, like, super raw. Or not super raw. I love my steak pretty much close to raw. Like, not even medium rare. Like, most of the times, like this is this is more cooked than I usually have it. Most of the time it's rare or like almost raw sometimes. I'll show you guys a story of mine. There's one time where me and a friend got steaks um, to cook for like lunch before we went to go to a Bible study. 
I think it was a Bible study. Yeah, it was a Bible study. And we didn't really have time to cook it. We are at another friend's place, and he was moving out, so he had nothing in his ap apartment. All he had was a pan and, like, a fork um, and, like, steak sauce. Um, and so we just, I decided, screw it. I want to cook this. I want to eat right now. I don't, I don't want to waste this food. I want to eat right now. So I just got my pan, put it on the stove, and just tossed the steak on there. And I, I pretty much, all I did was sear the outside. And then after that, I just got some barbecue sauce and just ate it. And I loved it. It tasted so good. So from that point on, I can only have it like like medium, medium rare at the most. But it is so good. Some people think it's gross. You know, like, oh, so much blood, so much whatever. It's raw. But, dude, it's so much better than having it like medium well or well done. Or, yeah. Because... You're pretty much eating rubber at that point. There's no, there's no juiciness to it. Um, it's just, there's no flavor to it. It's just rubber, and I hate that. You need like to rely on the barbecue sauce to make it better. This, man, that's it. I just cook it. I just, you know, pretty much sear it. Put some seasoning on it. Done. That's it. I don't need anything else. I love it so much. I love that. So. Um, after I'm done eating, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up, I guess, my place. That's how I cook my food. Pretty much the same type of process if I'm boiling eggs. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I actually clean up my mess. Um, usually the first thing I do is get the uh, my lunch for tomorrow. And because I just love this, like all the sauce and seasoning and everything inside the uh, pan in my dish, I'm gonna add the rest of that goodness and just pour it in there. Boom, yes, look at all that. So good. Oh, so good. So that's done. I will just put this in my backpack. Next thing I do is I grab my paper towels. Kind of just took this one day. A lot of these at a, what was it? Like a bathroom, you know, just dispensers. I kind of just kept going and took a, took a little bit more than I needed to. But they're super handy. Grab one. Mm, mm, bam, boom. Try to absorb it all while I'm doing cleaning up. I take apart this cook stove, etc. Put this away too. You know, wait while I'm eating. I'll let. That's when I let it cool off a little bit. Super convenient. I love steak so much. I don't know if you knew that, but I love steak. Oh, I don't know if you all can see it. Got my towel on here for since I showered today, like I always do. Um, I have it draped around my, over my seat. This is what I was talking about in the last video. That's how I dry my, dry my towel. And then in the morning, I'll just grab it, toss it in my bag, go to go work out and shower again. Let's get some of this oil out. This is like the biggest pain about like cooking in your car, and especially eating steak, um, is that you gotta clean this pan and it's just kind of annoying. It's, like living in your living in your car obviously makes everything a little bit harder. You can't just toss this into your sink and wash it with water. You know, my water's underneath my igloo, so I can't really access my water. Maybe y'all have a better idea of how I do this. I don't have any dishwasher that I can clean it later. So the same bag that I put the tray that held all my steak, I use it to toss all my cooking waste in it. Do it one more time, just get most of it out. Pretty simple, easy process. So I'll get like the most of it just with the paper towel and then just to sanitize it and rid of the smell as much as I can I'll just get some wet wipes boom Walmart great value using my wet wipe gets rid of like cleaning up a little bit more just get anything else I didn't get get rid of the smell from it too that's always nice I don't want it to smell like steak uh, and I think that's good yeah just the same wet wipes to clean my fingers a bit why do you, people use forks and spoons and knives, man? You got perfectly good hands. Shout out to my homeland, Philippines, man. They know what's up. Cleaned up my pans. After I'm done, I just put it back in that pocket. Grab the towel, put that back. Put my cooking ingredients away. So I think that's it. Yeah, it looks like everything. Now I can just fold out my bed like so. Boom. Throw my mattress, throw my blanket, throw my pillow, throw my quilt yeah uh, there's some extra clothes up there boom look at that see now I'm all set up for bed again after done cooking um, I'm gonna brush my teeth after this before I go to bed 
that was pretty easy that was pretty simple so yeah so that's everything about like how i cook in my car um now you know how exactly i do it um, my recommendations for like your cooking setup again my setup is definitely not the best setup but it works for me it's what i chose maybe one day i'm gonna get like something else that'll be in the future can't tell whatever and then you saw how i cleaned up pretty simple pretty fast pretty easy you saw how after i was done cleaning how fast it was just to set up my bed again um just like that that's pretty much everything so if, yeah if you like this video give it a like um again if there's any questions about how i did things leave it in the comments leave in the comments how you like your steaks do you like them medium well or oh, well done medium rare rare raw whatever i want to know shout out to james allender i think it was james allender james allender boom comment i think it's right here um but yeah thank you for showing your interest and in wanting this video so again to all those out there put your comments um, below of what you want to see me cover what is helpful for y'all what do you want to see from me what do you want to know from me yeah so just stay tuned for more videos i got a lot more ideas i got a lot more videos to post subscribe so that you can see more of what i do how i do things what new Ooh, that steak mm, so good anyways subscribe so you can see more of my content see more relevant videos about this the new things that i learned in my car and what new ways i've learned to be more minimalist yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time